Hi guys, this is Lisa from Books and. Um, this is my first video for the blog and it's only happening because I have a ton of books to show you guys. Um, I went thrift shopping today and I ended up getting 55 new books, which I have no idea where I'm going to put them. <laughs> it probably wasn't the best idea ever, but I got a ton of books. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you them all. But I do have a lot from the library and that I bought and everything. So let's just get right into that. Um, I already started reading this one, Amelia Ann is Dead and Gone. I had, well, I still don't really have any idea what it's about. I just know John Green said it was good. So I picked it up. I don't know. And then there's Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Uh, there's a movie and everything. I've never read it. But I liked Dash and Lily's Book Alert book layers, <laughs> book of dares a lot. Um, so I thought I would try the writing again. And then also there's, what is this called? Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List by, I think both Rachel Cohn and Cohn, 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 and David Levithan. So that's pretty cool. And then I got Waiting for You by S Suzanne. I almost called her Susan. Suzanne Colasante. See, I don't know if I'm saying these people's names right. I feel bad. Anyway, I I don't know what this is about either. But I read a different book by her that's actually um, in my list to show you guys. So, we'll see. I don't know. There will probably be a review of that. So, I have um, Why We Broke Up by people. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. Again, you know what? I'm just going to stop saying when I don't know what it's about. Okay, I have Stolen, which I think somebody said they liked. I don't know. I saw it on the shelf, and I just went for it. Um, Hush Hush. I I actually started reading this book before, and I, I didn't really like it. But a lot of people like it, and they say it's really good. So I thought I would give it another try. Maybe it just wasn't right for the time. Out of Reach, which... Out of Reach. <laughs> okay, this one, uh, Just One... Wait, right? God, I've been so excited for this book, I don't even know the name. Just One Day by Gail Foreman. It's actually... I think I'm the first person to have this book from the library. I put it on hold, and, um... So, it just came out a couple days ago. So, I'm really excited to read this one, because I really liked, uh, the If I Stay books. So, hopefully that's as good as I think it will be. Uh, Kaleidoscope Eyes. I don't know. <laughs> so, this book. This book, I have been waiting for, for months. I put it on hold at the library when it first came out in whatever month. I don't know. They got it in September. And I was, like, number 400 on the queue. And I finally got it today. It's The Casual Vacancy. Um, I knew it was going to be a long wait, but I did not realize it was going to take into the new year to get it. Anyway, I'm excited to have that. I hope it's good. I don't know. I don't know. Also, I already reviewed this, but I have chopsticks, and I love it so much. I love it so much. And it's so pretty. Like, every page of this is so pretty. God. Except for the weird... I don't know why that's... I don't know why that has a, a magenta tinge. They're being quirky. That can be quirky. Anyway, these are, um... So this is a book I got for my birthday yesterday. My mom gave it to me. I've been wanting it forever. I finally have The Bell Jar. Um, I'm totally stoked to have this book, you guys. You have no idea how happy I am to finally own it. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, so now I have some books. I went to Half Price Books today, and I got a lot of stuff that I like. Well, not a lot, but... So I got Lost It, which I've read before. It was before I started the blog, so I don't have a review on it. Maybe I'll review it. And no, it's not just about sex. Everybody thinks that. It's not just about sex. <laughs> I got When It Happens... See, this is the other book by Suzanne Colasante that I was talking about. Um, I've read this one before. There's no review for it, but maybe we'll see. I don't know. Now, no, I don't need the receipt. I got a uh, Two-Way Street. 
her head's covered up. Oh, well. Two-way street. I have no idea. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. I think it's about a breakup and drive road trip. Anyway, um. <laughs> and then I got, I'd tell you I love you, but then I'd have to kill you. I've seen a lot of people talking about this, and it's a cute name. I, it's $2 on clearance at half price books, so I figured, what the heck. And I got it. And then, um, and then at the thrift store that I went to, they had this, like, wicked sale, uh, where they, you could fill up a, uh, grocery, a grocery paper bag, paper grocery bag, and it would cost five dollars. However many books are in there, it doesn't matter. Five dollars for the bag of books, and I ended up getting three, which is why I got 55 new books. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I got Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. I have read all of Sarah Dessen's books. Um, I only, I don't think I have any reviews for them, but this is one of the ones that I didn't own, and I was so excited to, to see this because Sarah Dessen is my favorite author. So that's cool. And then I got this book, 13 Little, you can't read that, 13 Little Blue Envelopes. It doesn't have a dust jacket, but otherwise it's in really good condition. And I liked this book a lot, so I grabbed it. I don't need a dust jacket. I'm fine without it. The book's just as good. I got um, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I've never read it. Obviously, a lot of people like it. There's a movie, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. And then I got three of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants books. I, there's, I didn't get the third book, though. I have one, two, and four. They're, they didn't have the third book there. Um, or I didn't see it. I don't know. But then I got that. So that's pretty cool. And, wow, that was my entire, that was my entire stack. Anyway, oh, oh, I lied. It's not. Also from the library, I got, not that one. I got the second Lemony Snicket book. I got the first Fruits Basket book because I was watching the anime and I totally love the anime. But I've never read the, the books, so I got them. And then a lot of people talk about Skip Feet. I'm, I'm not really a, a manga fan, manga, manga, however you say it. I'm not a fan of this stuff, <laughs> usually, but a lot of people were talking about this, and obviously I like Fruits Basket, so I'm, I'm trying to give it, give it a chance, because, 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 just because. Also, I bought uh, Tuesdays with Mori, didn't really like it when I was reading it, it was like 50 cents though, so whatever. I got both of the Bridget, uh, Bridget Jones Diary. Is that what her name is? Yeah, Bridget Jones Diaries books. Matilda. Matilda. <laughs> and then A Wrinkle in Time, which I've never read before. I know. I know. I've never read it. I haven't seen the movie. Nothing like that. I don't know. Everybody loves it and whatever. Also, this isn't book related, but they totally had this awesome Chuck Berry collection at the library. And I was stoked to see it because I love Chuck Berry. Anyway. Uh... So, have you guys gotten anything new this week? I'd love to know, so leave a comment, or whatever, if you want. I don't care. And I forgive you if you didn't watch all of this video, because it is pretty long. It's like nine minutes, and I ramble and talk loud. <laughs> so, have a good day! Also, I really want to apologize for my, like, rapid talking. If you didn't understand me, I'm so sorry. I'll try to talk shorter. I mean, shorter. I'll try to talk slower. Um, if I make any more videos or whatever, I'm just trying to get through because there was a lot to show. So that's that. Whatever. Okay, bye again. <laughs>